It's the third round of the 2014 Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy, the midway point of this five event championship, and the one they all look forward to the high speed roller coaster ride that is the Neste Oil Rally Finland. Last time out in Poland, the young crews served up an entertaining, dramatic weekend on the gravel of the Missouri Lake region. With Estonia's Sander Palm claiming his second consecutive victory. And this is how things stand after two rounds. Sander Palm with a 19-point lead over Tom Cave after those two victories, with Jare Lemesh in third. Further back, Max Vatnen is sixth in the championship, with Julian Demevius in seventh. The next day, Oil Rally Finland is still based at its traditional home of Yavaskula, but elsewhere much has changed. It's now a four-day event with 26 stages, totaling 361 kilometers, which include a number of classic tests that have not been used in some years. Four stages on Thursday would get us underway, including the Lankamar test, famous for passing the home of four-time champion Juha Kankinen. So, leading the championship after two events is Estonia's Sander Palm. The 22-year-old was on the top step of the podium in both Portugal and Poland and would be looking to maintain his 100% record this time out in the Finnish forests. I won two rallies and now we are on the third one, the legendary rally Finland. Second in the championship is Britain's Tom Cave and after back-to-back -back second place finishes, he'll be looking to go one better here. These stages are so unique. Um, it's my first time here as well, so I know we really concentrated on getting good pace notes. So, but I feel confident. We had a good test on Sunday, and yeah, we'll see see where we are after today. Local hero Max Vatnen used home advantage to take the early lead and give the thousands of Finnish fans something to cheer about. Winning stage one, Lankamar. But his lead didn't last long. Spain's Jose Suarez took top spot after two, but the Spaniard's time at the top would also be cut short. A high speed off, ripping a wheel from his Fiesta and ending his challenge. Championship leader Sander Pan had more than just the forest to deal with on day one. He was forced to pass two slower cars in the opening stage, costing him around 10 seconds. He sits in third at the end of the day. We had quite good first day and it's really we are in a really good position to continue the second day of Rally Finland. Norwegian Marius Arsen won the third stage of the day to move into second place, one of the four different stage winners we've seen so far. Yeah, I'm really happy. We, we had a nice and clean run last day, no problem, but um, yeah, we are very happy. We just have uh, a little bit problems with our pace note on stage two. At the end of day one, though, it would be Vatanen who had the early advantage. I went for it. It was quite a challenging day because uh, the condition was really bad. I was myself quite surprised how, how bad uh, the road were. So we had to, to drive wisely and uh, now I'm happy we are leading. But there's still three long days to go. And, but really nice stages and we will enjoy. With the top four separated by just 15 seconds though, it's all still to play for in Finland. And so to day two in Finland and time to catch up with a legend in these parts, 1981 world champion Ari Vatanen, as his son Max aims to follow in his father's footsteps. The fact that he's in the same sport where I have been all my life, of course it's a very big bonus, but regardless, whatever is the outcome of this, whatever happens, he's my son, he's my dear son and I'm, uh, I'm proud to be his father. It gives a bit pressure because people are expecting is Vatanen, so the result be, must be the same uh, as the dad. But uh, on the other hand, it gives a lot of opportunities and I have to be thankful of those. There were nine stages in Vatanen's homeland to come on Friday, totaling 134 kilometers, including the stunning Kakaristo, which uses part of the legendary Onimpoya stage. Sadly, day two didn't go to plan for the young Finn. After a slow start in the morning loop, a loss of power in his Ford Fiesta then compounded his troubles. Four minutes were lost and he dropped down to seventh. 
Another man with a day to forget was Nicola Amioni, the Lebanese driver rolling in stage nine. And with damage sustained to his roll cage, his rally was brought to an abrupt end. It just entered a bit earlier to a corner and we touched the side and the car slid and we had a soft roll. So hopefully if, it, if we can get the car fixed and we still have tomorrow and Sunday to drive and learn and enjoy these stages. That's, the, that's what we're hoping for. Marius Arsen started the day in second, but he was unable to capitalise on the leader's misfortune. Puncture in stage 11, costing around two minutes. However, the Norwegian does maintain a podium place by the end of the day. Uh, it's been a difficult day. We, we had a puncture on stage 11 and lost a lot of time. We lost about two and a half, uh, two and a half minutes, so a lot of love, lost a lot of time. But uh, OK, we, we are happy to lay in third, but uh, we were hoping to have uh, closed the gap to the cars in front of us, but OK, it's a long rally to go. In third after day one, championship leader Sander Pan showed consistent pace, avoiding trouble, and the Estonian up to second. We managed to complete the day without big problems, uh, in spite that uh, stages were quite rough for us. And, uh, for example, I have a bended rear beam, just uh, because driving fast on the road. Uh, but the mechanics will do their job and we can continue tomorrow and tomorrow I will have some uh, more familiar stages. But day two of Rally Finland belonged to Britain's Tom Cave, claiming five out of nine stage wins. The 22-year-old took the rally lead after stage six and was able to open up a commanding gap by the close of play. We tried to manage a good pace this morning because we kind of expected the stages to get quite rough this afternoon and it kind of works and the pace notes have been really good for me today and I think that's what's you know gave us a good pace. Um, but yeah, like you said, first time here, we're setting good stage times, which is which is nice. Caves advantage 20 seconds over Sandapan in that championship battle with Marius Arsen third, with two days still to run. More drama would await on day three. But first, here's Belgian driver Gillian de Mevius to talk us through the importance of preparation and pace notes on these high-speed tracks. I think it's the most difficult rally to, to do the pace note correctly and uh, it wasn't easy for us as our first time. In fact, uh, there is so many jumps and so many variation of uh, high of altitude, I would say, then uh, it's difficult to, to say and to, to note uh, where it will jump, where it will only like um, lift the car a little bit up, tightens a little on the, on the crest. And so to Saturday, with 10 stages totaling 130 kilometers, including a Finnish classic, Leostu. After back-to-back -back second place finishes, Britain's Tom Cave was looking to go one step further this time out. Heading into the penultimate day, he was our rally leader, but a broken suspension in stage 20 meant the 22-year-old would be forced to retire a major dent to his championship challenge. Spaniard Jose Suarez also fell short in 20, rolling his Fiesta just 300 metres past the stranded cave. That would also be the end of his challenge. OK. It was a really, really unlucky weekend since the first day, always with problems. Marius Arsen pushed hard today in his pursuit of second place man Quanton Gelbert and a stage win for the Norwegian in 21 added some pressure. Uh, it was a difficult day but uh, my pace has been good and I'm happy with that but too much punctures. I got uh, two punctures today and lost uh, a lot of time of course but uh, I'm third and yeah we are happy with that. But Gilbert responded by winning three of the five afternoon stages to open up a 30 second gap and cement his place in second. I have a puncture at the start of the rally, and now we have uh, we are second. Uh, it's very good. It's very good for uh, for us. Uh, very good day. No no mistakes. No no problem with the car. Um, the confidence uh, is uh, here uh, with my pace note uh, with the car. But very 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 good day. Yes. But it was championship leader Sandapan who dominated day three, winning five of the nine stages and opening up a commanding lead. We have nearly three minutes lead in front of Gentin Gilbert, so tomorrow three stages to go and uh, now I'm not going to push anymore, just have to drive safely to the finish and uh, hopefully we will manage to do it. Heading into the final day, Palm with a lead of just under three minutes with Gilbert second and Marius Arsen third.
And so to the fourth and final day, starting and ending with the short Ruhimaki test with the 23 kilometers of Mahimpa in between. It had been an action-packed week and the battle for the podium would go right down to the wire. Marius Arsen looked set for a third place finish going into the final stage of the event, but there was to be heartbreak for the young Norwegian as he suffered a loss of fuel pressure in stage 26. He was forced to retire with only a matter of kilometres left to the finish line. That gifted, talented Spaniard Yare Lemes a place on the podium, reward for a consistent showing here in Finland, and that third place cements his third position in the championship standings too. Rally. The rally had been hard, it's a four-day event, but after all the problems we had, two punctures, and yesterday the problem with the engine, we couldn't be more happy with this third place on the podium. Quentin Gilbert had to fight hard for his second place this weekend. It is his first finish of the season and his points haul this weekend propels the Frenchman up to fifth in the championship. It's a good result for, for us, uh, second place uh, here in, uh, in Finland. It's a good result for, for us, for everybody, for, uh, for the partners. After the puncture in the first day, we have pushed very hard. Uh, now uh, second is a good result. But for the third consecutive event, Sandapan takes the top step of the podium. He fought closely with championship rival Tom Cave, but suspension damage and retirement for the Brit on stage 20 allowed Pan to open up a sizable advantage. The Estonian cruising to victory. Amazing weekend, uh, three out of three hat-trick, so the season so far has been amazing. Sometimes it's pure speed, sometimes you have to be smart, sometimes you just have to swallow and and be slow. For example, today I went so slow that actually took my emotion down a little bit. It would have been much better if the rally would have finished yesterday. But still I feel I feel happy. So it's a hat trick of champagne celebrations for Pan and co-driver James Morgan. Pan taking the win by a margin of over two minutes. Away from the top three, Max Vatanen recovered to claim fourth, and Gillian de Mevius was fifth. Further back, Nils Sullens, Tom Cave and Simon Konicki were the only other finishers. And with three wins out of three, Pan holds a 37-point advantage going into the final two events. After another exciting week in the Finnish forests, attention switches to the tarmac test of Rally Deutschland for round four. For now though, from Finland, it's goodbye.